Hey guys, we're back in Taylor's bathroom. <laughs> we never left. I don't, we've actually never filmed in Taylor's bathroom before. Surprisingly not. Surprisingly, because we spent a lot of time in here together, <laughs> nude. <laughs> Shitting. Holding hands, shitting. Um, I did a little mini tattoo tour on the talk for the girls that know the talk. And I kind of wanted to force Taylor to film a more in-depth one. And also, let's give a Bestie tattoo tour. Okay. So I'm gonna hand the camera over to Bestie Esmeralda and let's let's do it, I guess. Alright guys, <laughs> let's get up close and personal. <laughs> Taylor Cam. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Wait. Let's go. Should we go in chronological order? Yeah, except I don't think I know the order of mine. So the first one I ever got was this one. Wait. Sorry. I need to level this. Okay, go. First one I ever got was this one. It's treat people with kindness for Harry Styles. It's very much <laughs> his slogan. And I went to some random dude's apartment. Do you remember that? It was awful. We went to some random dude's apartment. <laughs> I that blew was, up his bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Nervous shits. And, um... He did fine. I mean, it's kind of lopsided, but like, I guess, whatever. It was my first one ever, and it was a recommendation from some friend that I barely knew. And <laughs> I was like, okay, this is LA. But I love it. It was my first one ever. Second one was this one. <laughs> Enzo Ferrari, RIP, did this one. This is Modernity Has Failed Us. It's from my favorite 1975 song. I love it if we made it, and it's a protest song. And it was a lot, it came out right around the time of uh, Trump's presidency, when he was saying all that outrageous shit. And it was a protest song of just like, very much America. And then also the UK, because he's from the UK. And it was, I, I just would cry to it, because it's like, we are living, I'm looking at you, we're living in such a strange time. And I feel like it really just encapsulated that. And then I did it in this like comic book font, you know, like those pop art comics are like, I'd rather die than ask Brad for help. So it's... Anyway, my next one was <laughs> me and Bestie got matching camo boots. Matching, but not. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I remember having matching Shrek shirts. <laughs> Should we get a matching Shrek tattoo next? <laughs> Probably not. We get Shrekers on our back. Like angel wings. <laughs> Let's Shrekers. have Shreks. Um, yeah, just because this is. I think of Texas and I think of Taylor, and I just Ooh. love. Uh, he did a thick line. We both got pretty thick line tattoos. Um, and I like the traditional tat uh, Alex DeSoto. Alex DeSoto, Soto tattooer with fucks up, and that's my fucking guy, that's my boy. Next, I think I got Mickey. Um, I mean, what else is there to say? Me and my family are a Disney family. We grew up, I grew up on Disney films, going to Disney World. I feel connected to my family, and also I just like love it. And I love the classic, like, logo, or outline, instead of the updated 2000s one. My next one was My Little Tiny People. And I got this one because, I don't know, I very much like the shit on my arm, ew. I very much like this idea of everyone's living their own little lives. And you never know what people are going through. Each one of these different people has a different story. And they're so tiny, because we're tiny. And I had this moment where I went to the, the LACMA, the LA County uh, Museum of Art, and I was with my friends and I was just kind of walking around this area and there was this mom with one of those like baby straps on her chest. And there was this exhibit that was just a mirror and the artist had superimposed himself in it so it looked like he was looking over his shoulder. So while you're looking in the mirror, you're looking at yourself and then at him. And she was like playing with her baby in the mirror and I was standing over to the side like this, just crying. I was <laughs> looking at her, just crying, because I was like, what a sweet little genuine intimate moment that I just witnessed. And it was like, everyone is so, like humans are so complex. I just had like a whole freak out, like an existential moment. And I was like, I need to get this. So I, this one's one of my favorites. My next one was this one. Alex, again, shout out. Memento Mori, remember that you will die so that you may live. Okay. And then this is designed <laughs> by, um, I hate green eggs on TikTok. He does incredible art. And so I asked him to commission this for me and he did. And then my next one is this one, Greta Van Fleet. Um, Maddie Redinger um, designed this one. And it's from the song, When the Curtain Falls. Um, and it's a line, um, you're in and out of fashion and the Hollywood of hell. So she's got little devil horns and a devil tail. And I just feel like it's all living in LA and it's like just crazy. I'm all like, everything happened to me. I just like moved there. So I so fucking wild. So this is kind of like my LA tattoo. And then I have my SpongeBob jellyfish. That's all. That's <laughs> it. I just fucking love SpongeBob. It shaped me as a, as a woman. SpongeBob showed me my womanhood. <laughs> I learned about my womanhood. Sexual awakening. Yep. And then Coke bottle. Um, 
I just, I love the whole aesthetic of Coke, like vintage 40s, 50s, 60s Coke. And then my dad, for Brittany Broski lore and Taylor Lindsay lore, I have grown up in a Coke inspired kitchen my <laughs> yeah. entire life. Every single house we've ever moved to, and there's been a lot because my dad was in the military. It's always been a Coke themed kitchen. So I think of my dad when I think of this. Mm. And I miss him a lot every day. And then this is the last one. Ew, it's so shiny and greasy. <laughs> this is my four for Beyonce. Four is her lucky number. Um, and her and Jay-Z both have it tattooed. Tatted on their ring fingers because it's their like lucky thing and then her album four and all that you know whatever like y'all understand and I just love Beyonce I don't know it's really not any deeper than that I just love Beyonce and I'm up, like it's to the level that's like I was a stand before I knew what standing was <laughs> and I always will and then I just got this one with Bestie my Rolling Stones lips because I love lips. the Stones and I love rock and roll and I think that they fully represent rock and roll for me and I'm to, to come soon. Here I'm gonna get Paul McCartney's Hoffner bass in the same style of this. Oh, Arbel designed this one, by the way. So I'm gonna get it right here. Cause I'm a classic rock girl. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Bestie's turn. Thank you guys so much. So here's Bestie's turn. Uh, <gasps> our French onion soup. Pause. <laughs> Ayo. <laughs> okay, Bestie's turn. Tattoo was a stick and poke in my living room by my friend Wes. So I mean, the toilet. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it stands for it goes on. I love it. She's cute. Let me see. Beep beep beep. <laughs> I like don't know the order. Oh, then this was my second one. I remember her. I need to get her touched out. She's so cute. The arm's a little messed up, but it just needs to take care of yourself. Water yourself, take care of yourself, drink water. <laughs> um, third, we're, I just have all these fucking bracelets on. They're Robin tracks. Um, yeah. So my dad's best friend is like my dad and his wife passed away and her name is Robin and I loved her and she was like my second mom. So I got Robin tracks, she's the best and I miss her and I love her. Diva. <laughs> This is my third one. It's just a butterfly. It just means growth. And yeah, I mean. Only colored one too, right? Well, my, oh, this okay. one. But yeah, it just means growth and that you can like become something so beautiful from a fucking ugly caterpillar. Yes! <laughs> um, okay, and then green light, Lord. Lord is one of my favorite artists of all time. Where the Lord girl's at? I love her. <laughs> and then, um, oh, this was done by Alex. And then Lindsay, because that's my last name, and I got married, so it's gonna change once I file the legal documentation. <laughs> and I'm the last Lindsay, so it makes me really sad, and I love my last name, because I have two first names. Three. Yeah, I do. Oh. Great. This is the one we got today. Ew. Um, I'm gonna get her colored eventually, and then I'll probably get cowboy on this side eventually. And a I cowboy girl and a cowgirl boy. <laughs> Alex, you get it. <laughs> um, it's just like, I'm from the country and I love Western stuff. Oh my God, I forgot about our boots. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's just her. And then me and Brittany, got, you saw her boot tattoo. So this is mine. We don't do matching tattoos. Cause they're cursed as fuck. They are. And I can never lose you. <laughs> Okay, but yeah. And these are like boots that my grandpa used to wear all the time. I didn't know that. Yeah, the he had the ones? ostrich ones. And so he, they'd be like this on that. Uh, he had a recliner and they'd just be sitting beside the recliner. Oh. So it's very cute and I love him and I miss him. So. I thought you had more than that. So this is our PSA to go get a f***ing tattoo because who cares? <laughs> Mom, sorry. <laughs> also, yeah, our families hate that we have tattoos. I got my first tattoo and my dad said the devil's in this house. And it was. And it never left! <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. Love you very much. <laughs> None of that! <laughs>